Hello, my name is Ken. I'm one of the anesthesia assistants at RVH, and I'm in our brand new state-of-the-art laparoscopic uh, operating rooms. My job here is to facilitate our anesthesiologists and make sure that they can deliver the best care um, to our patients and provide an extra set of hands when they need. So our primary responsibility is just helping them do a better job for all of our patients. So I'm here making sure our anesthesia equipment's all safe and ready to go, and my good friend Dr. Peter Daphne will be here and he can explain some of the other technical marvels that we have at our disposal today. My name is Peter Daphne. I'm a general surgeon here at RVH. Uh, I've been here for over 10 years and I'm also the clinical director of the surgery program. So uh, I'd like to take a few minutes to show you around our exciting new operating room suites. Most of the interesting uh, new apparatus is actually suspended from the ceiling. So uh, when we look up to the roof of the operating rooms, there's actually a big boom. It looks almost like an octopus hanging from the ceiling. There's several arms, and the arms are actually connected to a combination of lights and monitors, as well as other uh, support equipment that we need to do safe and uh, very exciting operations here at uh, RVH. This piece of equipment is our surgical boom. Um, a lot of the equipment that we would previously have had on separate carts is now all integrated into one unit. So if we start at the bottom, uh, the machine here is our electrosurgical unit and that's what provides electricity for our cautery machines. There's a smoke evacuation unit adjacent to that. And then these two units are used for our laparoscopic procedures. So there's a light source here uh, as well as uh, a data input for our camera. Uh, and this is our gas insufflator that we use for uh, our laparoscopic operations. So previously, uh, the equipment would be on separate carts. The electrical supply to this unit would come not from the ceiling, but through wires that would travel across the floor. And uh, there was obviously some potential risk uh, of tripping and falling over those. Um, this new unit allows us to get all of that electrical support off of the floor and we can move this unit independently anywhere in the room with a system of hydraulics that are within the boom. So if you listen carefully, you can actually hear the hydraulics firing. As I press these buttons, and then we can move this boom freely throughout our operating room, wherever it's needed. So uh, you can tell at the moment I look a pale, sickly green color, uh, and that's um, something that we've designed into the lighting system of this room. The green lights here are to allow us to see red colors a little bit better. So uh, as I look around this room now, a lot of things that are very light red or pink really stand out quite brightly. And so when we're doing operations and we're looking for red blood vessels, for example, uh, this type of lighting will allow us to see that very clearly and that's a real potential benefit for patient safety. Here at, uh, at RVH and our surgery department, we're always striving for clinical excellence. And uh, one way that this uh, new facility helps us accomplish that is, for example, if you have two surgeons working in adjacent rooms, you might have uh, one encounter an issue that they need support from another surgeon. The technology that we have in these rooms now allows communication between uh, each of the eye suites. So if you are doing an operation, uh, encounter something that you're not quite sure about, you can send images from one eye suite to another uh, communicate verbally with the physician in the next room and you can discuss um, and look at the same images at the same time. So I came here initially 15 years ago as a resident. Um, I had an opportunity to uh, learn from some of the surgeons that were working here at the time and uh, now it's quite exciting that uh, the shoe is on the other foot and I have the opportunity to help with teaching some of our local family medicine teaching unit residents as well as some residents that we have coming uh, from surgery from other teaching institutions. Part of our new integrated suites will help facilitate that with our video imaging. Um, we can more easily facilitate uh, transfer of images, uh, discussion with residents that may not actually be in the room but could be wired in remotely to, for example, uh, observe an operation from a conference room in another part of the hospital.